What's up, everybody? A white lady don't want to sit next to a black person on her flight when a black person don't pay for her seat. You don't have to, you're not friends. What is a seat on an airplane that you're on a, in the air for four hours? It ain't like you ain't got to speak speak to the person. It ain't like you got to like the person because you sit next to the person. Maybe the black woman did want to sit next to you. I'm pretty sure she won't go say nothing to you because you let it known you didn't want to be sitting by a black person. Now, when they switch the seats and put a young college white student right there, everything was fine. It's not fine. You have serious problems. You racist in your mind and in your heart. Maybe you should have checked the airlines and made sure they had an all-white flight. Because I'm pretty sure that that black lady probably didn't lose no sleep over it. She probably, was, you know, instead of making her move, instead of making her move and trying to find another seat, they should have made you move, racist white lady, and find you another seat or another flight that was an all-white flight. So the problem wasn't the black woman. The problem was the racist white lady and the airlines. Because they should have told her, hey, Seats are just seat. Ain't nobody bothering you. Seats are just seat. You you ain't even on the plane that long. They should have made her find her another flight. See, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you racist and you think and you think you're supposed to have your way. See, over the years, racist people have been having their way with stuff. Over centuries, racist people have been having their way with stuff. This 2019, things change. Either you change with time, or you go bury yourself somewhere. The time go change. It's go change because it's in God's will for it to change. It's going to change. And there's nothing or nobody can do about it.